Hey, what's up everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. Uh, this video is just a quick tutorial on how to disassemble a Maytag dishwasher. It's this one right here. Um, I bought it like last year, uh, 2017, so it's kind of a newer one. Um, this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to show you just how to disassemble a little bit to get the um, filter off. So uh, you want to get your top and lower racks off. The lower rack will just slide out and you can lift it out. The top rack uh, you're going to slide it out, and then you're going to have to get this stopper out from the end. And it sits in here like this. It'll be in the hole. And what you want to do is compress the top little clip part right here. And then while you're compressing that, gently lift it up, wiggle it up. It'll go about this high, and then you just pull it out. Uh, do that on both sides, and then you can get your top rack out. So now when you're down here, you want to come to this guy, and you just want to twist the little uh, plastic nut underneath it. It should only be like one or two clicks tops, and then you should just be able to pull this right off. Uh, you shouldn't have to like twist that a lot, or it shouldn't be that hard. Then you're going to want to work your hand around this and get this loose. Um, it's coming off super easy right now for me because I already have it disassembled, but these little metal tabs just got to be undone. So you get those out, and then it'll come off. You're going to have to probably use two hands. Then to get your filter, you probably notice it has this uh, plastic tube right here. I gotta get that disassembled. So what I did is I came over here and I, I popped this off of the back of it, off the back of the dishwasher on the inside to get me some uh, leverage and some room. So you want to back this off right here. Basically, uh, you just want to push this tab on here and uh, work it off. And then it'll, it'll come loose. And then when that's loose, you should have enough, um, what's the word, like leeway or just enough room to get this loose. You push that tab on the tube and lift this tab right here and then just gently pull it out uh, just be careful not to break those tabs because that is what secures it in once that is out you should be able to move this enough to get the filter off and the filter just pulls up and uh, yep so that's how you get that out and then I was I think these just are replaced like a whole thing I, I tried to see if I could just get because it doesn't open up or nothing I try to see if it opens up because I wanted to we wanted to clean out this little area although it looks pretty clean um, basically some grime gets on the bottom of these but like the, the little net right there I wanted to see if I could pop that off and clean it but I don't think so I think this just comes as a whole unit as you can see right here I tried to kind of pry up on it a little bit but I think it might be glued on so I could we couldn't get it apart so we're just gonna put it back in uh, but if you were replacing it, then this is a good video to how to replace it. So when you go back in, this just goes uh, back in. Make sure this uh, tube goes into that hole right there. And now we're talking about reassembly. So then you want to make sure this uh, little tube on the uh, little inlet thing right there goes to that as well. Now when you put this back on, I would say put this part in first, the tube part. Uh, hopefully nothing broke and it'll just it'll just pop back in place make sure that the little tabs are in the other little tabs and then get this back on the back of the dishwasher make sure it pops in place uh, this back here didn't really pop too much but it did get back in and locked in place so now this piece goes on uh, the opening will go like right here uh, that's an opening for that tube so it's not clamping out on the tube uh, line up your little tabs you should be able to get them all back in the same spot and this should be fairly secure um, probably has like just like a centimeter or like half a centimeter of like uh, free play so you get that in and then uh, yeah so you got this guy this propeller he just goes on and then it's uh, just one click to lock it in place and then it should spin freely should stay locked and that's how you get the filter out. And then uh, when you get this in, put the rack in. And then uh, and then you want to put these guys back in right here. Just put it in like this. And then you just drop it in. Like that. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's in there the right way. Do both sides. Like that. All right, that looks good. It's not going nowhere. It's nice and secure. 
And, uh, and of course, the bottom one just rolls right in, no problem. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. Please like, comment, subscribe. More information in the comments is appreciated.